Hey everyone! So today for our daily read aloud, we're going to be reading The Caterpillar and the Polywog, and this is by Jack Kent. And I'm super, super excited because my grandmother used to read me this book a lot when I was little, so I'm super excited to share it with all of you. Caterpillars aren't like other folks. As ducks and hippopotamuses and you and I get older, we get bigger. Especially hippopotamuses, but not caterpillars. They turn into butterflies. Turning into something else like that is not just a thing anybody can do. I know, like, with humans, we just grow and grow. We're not going to randomly turn into something else, right? Down by the pond, there lived a caterpillar who was very proud of being different. She bragged about it to her friends. When I grow up, I'm going to turn into something else, she told the snail. That's nice, said the snail, who really didn't care one way or the other. When I grow up, I'm going to turn into something else, she told the turtle. I don't blame you, said the turtle, who didn't much like wiggly things. When I grow up, I'm going to turn into something else, she told the pollywog. What fine, said the pollywog. What are you going to turn into? But the caterpillar hurried on her way, looking for someone else to tell her secret to. I wish I could turn into something else when I grow up, said the pollywog. You will, said the fish. All pollywogs do. What am I going to turn into? The pollywog asked. But the fish saw a tasty bug and dashed for it. When I grow up, said the caterpillar, who had circled the pond and was going around for the second time. When I grow up, she told the pollywog again, I'm going to turn into something else. Oh, so am I, said the pollywog. You? The caterpillar was so surprised she almost fell into the pond. The fish said so, said the pollywog, the pollywog told her. Fish know things. They go to school. The caterpillar was upset. I thought only caterpillars could do it, she said rather sadly. What are we going to turn into? The pollywog asked. Well, I'm going to turn into a butterfly, said the caterpillar. Then I guess I will too, the pollywog said happily. What fun. Let's do it together. All right, the caterpillar agreed, although she would have rather done it alone, but I get to go first. The pollywog didn't mind. He wasn't at all sure how it was done. I'll watch you, he said. So when the time came, the caterpillar started to spin a cocoon. This is the tricky part, she said. The pollywog watched as the caterpillar spun. Soon only her head was uncovered. Now I have to close the lid, she said. When I come out, I'll be a butterfly. Go ahead, the pollywog said excitedly. I want to see you do it. It will take a while, the caterpillar warned. She started spinning again and was soon out of sight in the cocoon. For a long time, nothing happened, but the pollywog was patient. He watched and watched and watched. And if you'll notice, remember pollywog is another word. days and days and days. What are we noticing in this illustration? What's happening? What's different? And at last there was activity in the cocoon. The end of it opened and very slowly the caterpillar climbed out. Only she wasn't a caterpillar anymore. She was a butterfly. A beautiful yellow butterfly. The polygraph was so excited, he hopped up and down with delight. He hopped up and down like a frog. I was so busy watching you, he said. I didn't notice what had happened to me. So a caterpillar turns into a butterfly and a polywog or a tadpole turns into a frog. You're a very handsome frog, the butterfly said as she flew off to try her new wings. But the frog was puzzled. I thought I was going to be a butterfly, he said. A caterpillar wiggled by. When I grow up, he said proudly to the frog, I'm going to turn into something else. But the frog wasn't listening. He was admiring his reflection in the water. I am, you know, a very handsome frog, he said. What a sweet little story about two animals who change from something different into something else. So this is called metamorphosis. 
when an animal goes through a change into a different kind of animal, like a tadpole to a frog or a caterpillar to a butterfly. I hope you guys enjoyed reading the caterpillar and the polywog with me, and I'll see you guys in our next read aloud. Bye guys.